we can have an officer out. I've been here 20 years. So one of them assaulted the other one? I can't remember uh, a single incident where we actually had a, a fight here at work. Trash talk turned into a fist fight between two city sanitation workers. Both were fired. Dylan Collier has the tale of the tape in tonight's Defenders investigation. On a typical morning, 1554 Cantrell Drive serves as a solid waste management warehouse. But May 31st, shortly before 7 a.m., Police. Its parking lot became the arena where two city trash collectors settled their beef. What's going on out there? Um, two employees uh, got into it. Um, one employee ended up throwing a punch. Uh, we have them separated right now. But... Seven witnesses gave slightly different accounts of what unfolded. Employees David Torres and Roger Elizondo argued, then got physical. One co-worker recalled the two men shoved each other as many as five times before punches were thrown. The most notable blow, a shot from Torres that connected just under Elizondo's left eye, causing his cheek to swell and turn red. That type of uh, behavior just is not going to be tolerated, and that's why we terminated them. David Newman is Solid Waste Management's deputy director. We have to provide a, a good environment for our employees, a safe environment, a productive and, uh, environment. While Newman acknowledges the fight was a clear-cut case of workplace violence, it won't result in criminal charges for either man. The SAPD officer who responded to the fight determined it was a case of mutual combat. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Now, despite the fight, workplace violence incidents involving city employees are a rare occurrence. Last fiscal year, the city reported nine cases of workplace violence among its more than 12,000 employees. This fight was the only one involving physical contact.